So weak. Yeah. Um. Then, so I was like, oh my god, I'm finished. I'm I'm done. Hi guys. Hello, my people. Hello, fantastic, suitable, my amazing subscriber all over the world. You are welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? As for me, I am fine. Thank you. I have really missed you guys. Hope you guys are okay. Hope you guys are fine. Guys, tomorrow is a weekend round of gist. Yes, last week I was not I was not able to be up, but this week, of course, I am healthy, around, and free. Welcome to my channel for my OGs. Thank you so much for your love and support for my newbies. You are welcome. My name is Ella Sutebu. Feel free, relax. Watch this video to the end. Check out my other videos. Okay, there is a video I put out. Because I've been busy, I've not been meeting up with all the content. There is a video I put out. I just put out that video so that um, let not be that I just left my subscribers that way. And you guys did not watch that video. But if it's controversy topic, if it's what to what you guys will be here to watch it. Mm -hmm. In as much you subscribe to my channel, every content I put out here, make sure that you watch it, okay? Thank you so much. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Miss Trudy, Rosio, Mawa, uh, Steven, and Chris. Yes. So where should I start from? Let me start from Miss Trudy. Finally, Miss Trudy posted on her story mm, to update us what has been going on. The first video she posted on her story, which I was unable, because I was so busy, I was unable to download that first one. She has to film from her lower self to the face. She filmed from her legs up to her face before she starts saying, hi guys. I miss you guys. It belong I uploaded. Now, this is the reason why Miss Trudy has to film from her lower self or her lower body. I hope the English is correct. From her lower body up to her face is to tell us that she is not pregnant, okay? Because some people suggested maybe she is pregnant. That's why she has not been uploading. She says she is not pregnant. From the video, you can see it. And there is another video which I'm going to play the screen where somebody was making her hair. Though she claimed that she's not in Accra, Ghana, this person that is making her hair, she claimed is her cousin. So is it that Miss Trudy brought her cousin from her country to Ghana to stay with her? Or this is her cousin, or this is her sister, or this is her friend, you know, this is her family member, has been staying in Ghana before now? You understand? So that's the person that was making her hair. And there was also another video, Miss Trudy was in a, a Z elevator. She was also filming herself, showing her stomach, her body, showing that she's not pregnant, okay? And there is also another video of she and the girl, where they snap, you understand? She also showed her full body. That is also an evidence that she is not pregnant, okay? So, if pregnancy is not the reason why she has not been posting, then it could be something, something else, okay? Whatever it is, I'm here to say I wish her the best. I wish her the best of luck. Whatever she's going through, I pray that God Almighty, you know, to help her. You understand? That's it. Let's keep praying for Miss Trudy. So, she have come out, she have updated us, and she promised to be giving us, at least if she's not uploading, people should be seeing her, you know, in her status, how she's doing, okay? So, that is it for Miss Trudy. I came here to, you know, to update you guys, okay? Now, let's talk about... um. Rosio, before we talk about um Steve, others, okay, Chris. Now Rosio did um an upload in her story in her status, okay. She did a, an upload, and the first upload she was in a mode house. You understand a mode house. We know how mode house is in Africa, though in my side they are mode house that is still with zinc. You know they still roof it with zinc. But be this particular one, Rosio was in a mode house that the roofing was. This is a palm fruit, palm fruit and leaves, you understand? So, Rosio wrote Re-Africa. Everybody is going to have um, different perception about what Rosio posted in her status or the video she put out here. Or 
the you know what she say you understand and the other picture it was she and some children she snapped picture with them then she wrote that these kids saw her and they demanded they want to snap picture with Muzugu, which is she i don't know how true is that okay how true that children will tell you that they want to snap picture with you or it is you who demanded for the children to gather so that you snap picture with them but whatever be the case i want to say something that this is my own opinion everything everybody put out here i want to let you know that everybody have their opinion in as much you have bring it out here except that it is in private except that thing you have not uploaded it you did not post it everybody will have an opinion of everything put out here it's just like this my video right now that you guys are watching at the end of the day some people have opinion while some people some others have another opinion about it and that's why there is comment session where you drop your opinion in as much rosio is in kenya every video she put out people have opinion people will have an opinion especially the people that are from that country or from that state they will always have an opinion this one does not matter whether they are hater or not whether they are enemy or they are friends everybody will have an opinion let us know that once we put out anything here we are no longer we are no longer in charge how people think about it how people view it how people um their perspective about it you understand? Take for example, you know this guy Kino Yis. Is it Kino Yis? You understand? Or Kino Vis? This guy that is from, uh, he's from France. So right now he's in Kenya. I remember the first video he did. I came here and I applaud him. The second video he did, that I came here to react about it. He was just he went somewhere in a store and he bought something. So. The initial price he thought he's going to pay for that thing wasn't the price he paid anymore. So what happened? He now because of that, because of a, a difference in price, this guy titled his video, They Scanned Me. They Scanned Me in the biggest stop in Africa, Kenya. So when I saw that title, I was not pleased because when I watched the video, it was opposite. What did I do? I came here. I will not say, oh, because I am not a Kenyan person. Oh, because I'm Nigeria, after I'm living in Europe, I should just overlook it. I came here and I gave my own view. I was not happy about it. I remember even when this the one right now that is in Jamaica, when she did some video or say some kind of ways, there are also other some Jamaican um, people, indigenous, even the people that are even Mawa fan or Mawa team, you, you know, supporters of Mawa fan, you understand, and the one fan, they did a video to correct the one of those videos, of those titles, of those things that she said. The same thing happened to Coco Boy, when Coco Boy in Jamaica. The same thing happened to Kish, his word, when he was in Jamaica. So in as much you are in a particular place, environment, a country, and you put out a content, people who felt that, oh, this content shouldn't be this way, of course, they will always come out and give their opinion. Others that don't have a channel, they will go to the comment section and talk about it. Others that have a channel, maybe they are reactors or even if they are not reactors, they will use their channel as a point of contact to reach out. Mind you, I am not even defending whoever that attack Rosio of that content. I'm trying to let you guys know that it is not everything that is hate, hate, hate. Sometimes you should all understand that people have their opinion of every content you put out here. Especially when you are a tourist, maybe you travel, you are a travel vlogger, you travel to a country. When the people see the content you put out, when they are not pleased with it, they will react, they will talk about it, they will give their opinion. The same thing happened when um, this uh, Zek, uh, C Zek, went to Nigeria. I was not happy. I still came here to say, how can you be that you went to Nigeria? The only place you are is the biggest stop in Lagos. There are other places. There are other most wonderful places in Lagos that you can still show the world. I hope you guys understand. I hope you get the message. So what I'm here to tell Rosio is that you can still show other place other you know beautiful place in africa i know this is your first time in africa and you know you want to show a whole lot of dd place oh this part is in africa oh this part is in africa but even in that kenya you can also show some other good parts of kenya so that people have that mindset thinking that oh, or they have this uh they have this narrative 
or this mentality that oh in Africa they are no good road, they are suffering, they are no water, or they don't have good houses, it's only boat house. No. When you show them this other part, they will also know that yes, that Africa are developing, especially the part you are right now. So that people will not think, especially people that are from the country of Rosio or his family, will not think that only Mawa Villa is the only good house in Kenya. No. Even in Mawa Village, there are so many villas. There are so many rich people. There are so many billionaires who have built massive house. You can still go around and show them. So that your parents do not use this as an excuse for you not to marry Mawa. You understand? <laughs> you know that they are already having a uh, second thought. You understand? So they will not say, ah, this place that my daughter wants to marry is also a boat house. Please, Rosio, also show them some other parts, okay? So that people, especially people from your parts, who don't think Africa is just surface, surface, surface. No, they will know that there are other parts that we have billionaires, we have massive houses. There are houses that even, you know, more beautiful than more house. There are houses that even just like more house. They have it. Even more beauty is inside the village. You can still come outside and still show people other parts, you know, of Kenya or Yabuhaze or Africa so that people will know, okay? So this is my own advice to Rosio. But I still want you guys to know that people always have opinion. What I'm saying is, well, you know, look and see, okay, like the video I did about this guy, this kiddo for France, you are like, okay, yes, it's good. You know, somebody is so who commented that, he stopped watching Kino because Kino never showed the good part of uh, Africa, of Kenya. So I want you guys to also derive this same energy to whoever that is in Kenya, maybe show you what you guys don't like. You also say, no, please show us other parts, okay? It's just, you know, correction with love, okay? And nobody is above correction, nobody is above advice, okay? So that is my opinion regarding to, um, regarding to Rosio, okay? Now let's talk about uh, Chris. Chris, Chris must list. Chris must list, you know, though he said that he is going to Kogo, Kogo, South Sudan. It's Kogo, South Sudan. It's different places now. Okay, Chris must list is now in South Sudan. And there's something he posted in the community. Let's read it, okay? Before this very post that Chris must list posted, there is a post he posted before this one. He said that Visa. For South Sudan was approved last night, a new adventure in a new country on the way. Now, this reminds me of what Christoph Mosley is. One thing he said in his uh, interview. He said, even as they are, even as you see him, oh, he's a white person. But he also have this um this visa issue. You understand? Because they asked him what are the challenges as a child vlogger. So it's not just um these other travel vloggers that are black. People like Odebaya, Bawa, maybe because who they are or their skin color, that's why they sometimes they have visa issue. Though it's part of it. You understand? Even with Nigeria passports, oh my god, <laughs> you can't imagine the, the, the you know the obstacles you keep having if you are a travel vlogger. But I want to let you guys know that these obstacles or this temptation or even these challenges, even somebody like Christmas list also go through it. Yes, he also go through it as well, okay? So it's not just other travel vloggers, okay? Now he posted this. He said, I'm in Juba, South Sudan, and can honestly say it is unlike anywhere else I have visited on the planet. I have been warned multiple times not to film without a permit, so I am going through the proper processes to get approval. Hopefully, this can be done. This can happen tomorrow morning. Not many YouTubers have visited South Sudan, so I am excited to show you my view of this country, and you know I will go deeper than others. Stay tuned. The same way Chris, <laughs> Chris went deeper in Kenya, to the extent going to family man, his children and wife is there, asking them about uh, gay, you know, lesbianism and all that. Anyway, I want to let you guys know that this is happen. Even as in Nigeria, there are some places you want to film. Just normal, normal content creator, they will tell you no. You have to, you know, you have to give them money. They will not, they will not allow you. By the time you insist, they either scatter your camera, everything. You understand? They will just bring fights. 
from nowhere. So this part, this country called South Sudan, you see that Chris is facing these challenges of not Phoebe without permission, even as he's a white person. Okay, even as he's a white person, he's not allowed to feel without permission. This is a challenge. So if you if you are right that you say, Oh, I want to be Christmas list, are you able to go through these challenges like Christmas list? Can you can you chest it? Every of these travel vloggers that we have seen, whether they are now very, very successful or they are upcoming tra travel vloggers, they all go through challenges. Your challenge might not be mine. Same way as a YouTuber, we all have, you know, different challenges as a YouTuber. Some of us, we have gone through some challenges, maybe uploading. Some of us, we just go through the challenges of, you know, after Phoebe and everything, just find out that your mouth is just moving. You did not record anything. It's so painful, guys. I'm telling you, it's so painful. So, a lot, lot of us, we have different challenges being a YouTuber. Now, I want to read something that, you know, Kenneth Wachel wrote or the, you know, his comment. Now, before I go over to Kenneth Wachel, I want to ask Chris, how did you know that a whole lot of YouTubers have not visited South Sudan? Let me tell you, even at the YouTubers you have known, there are other many more YouTubers that you have not even seen. Maybe you, have not, you don't watch their channel, you are not used to them. They have also traveled to South Sudan. So maybe, maybe not. Chris is right by saying that um, there are not much uh, YouTubers that travel to South Sudan, but I don't know how true is that. Now, let me read Kenneth's comment. Kenneth said, Welcome to Juba, my friend. Enjoy the craziest and the constant annoyance. Even after getting the paper to film, the madness continues. The national language is Arabic, but money. It is most it is is the most speaking English language. Make your way to Terekeka. So their national language is Arabic, but money is the most English English language. So it means that as a travel vlogger, even as you are set to travel to Sudan. You should have extra money that you're going to use to bribe all those people, you know, in that country before they will allow you to film. Okay, so this is what you know. Uh, this is what Kenneth, uh, you know, commented. That's to say that Kenneth have traveled there. You know, I wish Chris all the best. I pray that you know um, everything work well according to him in the country. Okay, my suitable husband just came in. Let me end it here, okay? So, thank you guys for watching this video. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you for your love and support. God bless you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Everything I've said, drop your opinions. See you in my next video.